Jake's a people person. He can't let anybody walk in the house without wanting to greet them. He is a spitfire. You come to the station and he's here all happy and bouncing around. It just automatically just brightens up your day. Bill and Jake are inseparable. You're not going to get them apart for too long before he starts barking and whining the way he does. The relationship between Bill and Jake started from the time he pulls him out of a burning shed. There was an immediate bond there. I actually met Jake at a fire when he was a three-week-old puppy. He had burns between 50 to 75 percent of his entire body. We weren't really sure what the outcome was going to be as we didn't have any contact with the owners. What made me decide to adopt Jake was the simple fact of everything that he had been through. You know, I, I knew this little guy was going to need a, a good little loving home. I don't even think he discussed it with his wife. <laughs> it was, he's coming home with me. I started bringing Jake around the firehouse because at the time, even though all his treatments were done, he was still on antibiotics, which had to be administered throughout the day. It's not just the financial responsibility, but also the time that it takes to really treat these type of injuries. And once I started bringing him all the guys around the station just immediately took to him. Even with all the burns, he was just so happy and so friendly. It was just nice to have him around. He's just real good for morale. The chief and the mayor and the town administrator, he had captured a lot of their hearts. They decided to make him an honorary firefighter and the official mascot of the department. He really makes the job a lot easier because we can go out on a real bad call and come back and he's there and he's happy to see us and no matter what happens, he's always there. As the southern saying goes, he's never met a stranger. He's been through a lot, and yet he doesn't lash out at people. He's still a very friendly dog. And that's what makes him so special. And I think a lot of that has been attributed to what Bill has done with him. I couldn't imagine life right now without him because he has become such a huge part of my life.